Trace Contact Tracing App Full Guide. Paano mag-download, mag-register, and i-activate ang account mo sa Trace Contact Tracing Mobile App. And kung first time mo sa channel na to and gusto mo pa ng mga online tutorials katulad nito, click mo na ang subscribe button at notification bell para maging updated ka. So, merong Trace Contact Tracing app na pwede mong i-download sa Google Play or App Store. Ganito yung itsura niya and gagawin din natin siya later on. Magka-download tayo, mag-register and i-activate yung account. And i-check na rin natin kung paano ba gamitin itong Trace app na to and paano rin to makakatulong sa atin. Especially kung gusto natin protektahan yung sarili natin and yung pamilya natin against COVID. So, ano muna yung Trace? Yung Trace, isa itong uh, contact tracing app kung saan hindi mo na kailangan mag-fill out ng form manually, yung uh, kailangan mo pang gumamit ng ball pen, which is ginamit na rin ng iba, and then isusulat mo yung pangalan mo doon sa form, lalo sa mga MRTs or trains na pinupuntahan natin. Instead, kailangan mo na lang gawin is mag-scan ng QR code, and then pwede ka na pumasok sa MRT. Hindi mo na kailangan magsulat ng mga details mo doon nga sa form. Ang maganda rin dito sa Trace is automated din yung contact tracing or yung pag-notify sa mga tao kung uh, may nakahalubilo ka ba or meron dun sa um, establishment na pinuntahan mong nag-positive sa COVID. Ang sabi rito, isa tong in-app notification, ibig sabihin uh, kung meron kang mobile app ng Trace, pwede kang ma-notify. May ma-receive kang notification, katulad ng sinabi dito, na uh, kung sakaling meron kang nakahalubilo or within dun sa establishment ka is may nag-positive or na-identify na COVID-19 positive patient siya, automatically may ma-receive kang in-app notification or updates sa phone mo. And also, nung nabasa ko tong contact tracing app na Trace, and also meron ding stay safe .ph na mobile app, which is pinakita ko na rin yung iba't ibang tutorials about that. Bakit nagkaroon pa ng Trace? Bakit nagkaroon pa ng StaySafe.ph? Actually, hindi ko rin sure, pero may mga article na nag-release dito na sinasabi na nasa kalagitnaan na ng development yung Trace nung in-announce sa public yung Stay Safe. And also, yung Stay Safe din kasi before, kung hindi kayo aware, nagkaroon to ng issue about sa privacy yung StaySafe.ph kasi nga pwedeng matrack yung tao kung nasan man siya because of the GPS and Bluetooth na feature nito. However, yung ngayon, tinanggal na yun, I think, yung sa staysafe.ph na mobile app. And sa Chase, um, ever since, wala talaga nito. Yun yung pagkakaalam ko. And napanood ko rin siya sa mga video ng Chase. Ang tanging ginagawa lang nito is i-scan mo lang yung mga QR codes na nasa mga establishments bago ka pumasok and malalaman yung duration mo uh, as you exit dun nga sa establishment na yon. And then from there, malalaman nila kung may nakasabay ka bang COVID-19 positive patient and ang expectation is manonotify ka dapat through the app kung sakaling ang meron. And ano pa yung ibang highlight ng trace.ph? Dito kasi, um, meron ditong components na meron kang trace ID, ikaw lang ang meron nito, wala kang kapareho. Merong trace me, merong trace QR code. So, later on, makikita natin kung ano yung mas uh, dapat gamitin, trace me or trace QR code. And also, meron din itong trace history, notification, and profile. And also, may napanood din ako na yung, which is later on, ipapanood ko rin sa inyo. Ipiplay natin yung uh, video about trace na pwede mo siyang magamit kahit offline. So, test natin kung sa mga succeeding videos kung possible talaga yun or magkakaroon tayo ng issue kahit walang uh, or kahit offline lang yung device natin. And dito nga, going back dito sa Trace Me and Trace QR Code, actually, itong Trace, yung QR, personal QR Code natin which is nandito sa Trace Me, ang sabi is uh, gumagamit ito ng technology na recursive QR Code. Ano ibig sabihin ng recursive? Actually, uh, sinerge ko yung meaning na yan. Ang sabi dito is uh, it's a procedure that can repeat itself indefinitely. And based sa mga videos na napanood ko from Trace, itong QR code natin nagbabago-bago to. And ang sabi rito, yung feature na recursive QR code means that yung personal QR code natin will change every few minutes. So, few minutes siya magbabago to avoid others from taking a screenshot and misusing the QR code. And also, this will help protect the data of the users and their uh, trace history. So, dito, yung QR code sa trace, uh, pabago-bago nga to. Let's say, may ibang tao nakakuha ng kopya ng QR code mo na take nila as a screenshot yon. And then, let's say, yung tao na yon for some reason, is ginamit niya sa ibang establishment 
iniskan niya. Hindi natin alam kung ano yung purpose niya, kung trip lang ba niya or may goal ba siya personally na gamitin yung QR code mo na, pa, na i-scan sa iba't ibang establishment. Which is hindi dapat kasi hindi naman ikaw yung pupunta doon. Instead sila, but they are just using your QR code. So, ang maganda rito sa feature na to is nagbabago-bago nga yung QR code. So, kahit matake nila yung screenshot ng QR code mo, pero by that time na nagbago na yung QR code mo sa mobile app mo, I expect na hindi na yon may scan properly. Kasi nga nagbago na or parang kung ano man yung na-screenshot nilang QR code is nag-expire na. Hindi natin sure kung ganun nga yun, pero pwede natin matest sa mga succeeding videos nga. And also, as additional layer of protection na nakalagay dito, yung mga QR codes are encrypted. Ibig sabihin, pag encrypted, walang ibang device na pwedeng makapag-scan sa QR code na yon kung hindi yung QR reader lang na authorized, which is yung trace nga. Other QR reader, hindi yon mababasa. So, pwede natin i-double check din sa mga succeeding videos kasi pwede kang mag-download sa Android or sa iPhone ng QR code reader. And then from there, katulad ng sabi dito ng Trace, is hindi siya dapat mabasa ng ibang QR code. Instead, only Trace apps or Trace technology can scan yung mga QR codes na meron dito nga sa Trace. So let's proceed and mag-download na tayo ng Trace. Again, nakakatulong to yung Trace para ma-notify tayo kung sakaling may nakahalubilo tayong positive na COVID patient. And from there, pwede na natin i-protect yung sarili natin and yung family natin from uh, spreading yung virus further. Kasi nga, ma-isolate na natin yung sarili natin and pwede tayo makapag-prepare or ma-check kung ano yung magiging symptoms natin as soon as we uh, receive the information or notification via the app. So, let's proceed and i-download na natin yung Trace na mobile app and then later on, mag-register na rin tayo and i-check natin yung loob or yung mga features na meron sa Trace mobile app. So, open ko lang yung Google Play Store ko. Kung ang gamit nyo is iPhone, pwede nyo i-download to sa App Store. And then from here, pwede natin i-search yung trace, which is ito. And then once na ma-search na natin siya, uh, yung trace contact tracing, install na natin. So pag ganitong process, importante na meron muna kayong internet connection or dapat meron kayong data para mag-push through or ma-follow nyo itong instruction na to. So tap ko na yung open kasi na-install na yung app. And then dito, sinasabi na dapat nating i-allow or i-grant yung access sa photo para makapag-picture later on. And ang sabi naman dito sa bandang baba is yung na-capture na photo or image will not be sent to trace contact tracing data and will not be part of the data to be used for contact tracing. So, let's proceed. Tap ko yung proceed and allow natin to. Also, this one, allow and start tracing na tayo. So, ito yung terms of use. Pwede nyo itong basahin further. Mahaba-haba siya. And then, tap ko na itong I agree. And then, start tracing. So, dito, instead na mag-login, uh, since wala pa tayong account, mag-register muna tayo. So, click itong register sa baba. And, uh, mamimili ka ng type ng account na bagay sa'yo. Sa akin, individual. So, kung hindi ka naman part ng kahit na alin dito, like business or government office, barangay, transportation, or delivery crew, dito tayo sa individual. This is the step one process. So, click natin individual. And then, privacy policy. So, yung trace app daw, magkakollect ng mga information katulad nito. Which is, gagawin natin yan later on. And then, marami pang information dito, which is, pwede nyo nang basahin uh, for in detail. Pero sa akin, click ko na tong I agree. And then, from here, magkakrate tayo ng username and also password. Yung username, pwede tong combination ng first name and then last name mo. And then, lagyan mo na lang ng number or pwede iba, like nickname. Sa password naman, minimum of 8 characters siya, alphanumeric, ibig sabihin combination ng numbers and letters. And then, kailangan ilagay yung first name, last name, contact number, and also email address natin. And also, yung city of residence na din. So, kapatihin ko lang lahat ng to. Like for username, ito yung kinuriit kong username. And then, for password, um, ishow ko na lang dito yung password kasi mamaya, uh, pwede ko namang baguhin din. So, ngayon, binapakita ko lang yung sample ng username and password. And then, here, kailangan ko nang i-provide yung actual information about sa akin. So, yung first name. And then, last name. And then, mobile number. And then, email address. Uh, required din tong email address. And then, for city of residence, required din to. So, lagay natin kung saan tayo. Like, let's say, to Click natin to. 
Eto na, kompleto ko na lahat ng information dito. For the password nga pala, bawal dito yung special character. Like, pag nag-add ako ng at sign, magkakaroon tayo ng error message dito. So, try natin. Try ko tong submit. And ito yung error message. This field must contain numbers and letters lang. So, tanggal dito yung special characters. So, ngayon, papalitan ko na yung username and password ko. Uh, pinakita ko lang yung sample ng username and password. So, update ko lang to. So, na-update ko na lahat ng information dito. So, proceed na tayo and click submit. And profile image is required. So, kailangan pala mag-picture tayo. And sinabi rin dito na yung profile image will not be sent to the server daw. So, click ko itong continue. So, dito, pwede tayong mag-browse ng picture kung may nakasave tayo dito sa phone natin. Or pwede rin mag-capture. So, sa akin, mag-browse na lang ako. So, kahit ano naman dito, pwede naman. Pag-capture, mag-take lang kayo ng selfie. And upload ko na yung picture ko dito or nakapag-selfie na ako. Click ko na tong submit na button. And I certify that all information is true and correct. So, click ko na tong continue. And then, kailangan kong uh, ipasa tong verification code kung saan kailangan kong i-enter yung numbers and letters na nakikita ko dito. And click ko na tong submit. And kompleto na raw yung registration natin. Please enter your username and password to activate your account. So, click ko tong OK. And then, uh, na-enter ko na dito yung username and password ko. So, click ko yung login. And step 3 of 3 na tayo, account activation. So, click ko tong activate account. And kailangan ko ulit i-enter yung code na nakikita ko rito. So, 65238, click ko yung submit. And activation complete. So, pwede na tayong mag-login ulit and start tracing. So, click ko tong close. And andito na yung username and password ko. Click ko yung login. And ito na yung trace ID ko. So, Lahat tayo may kanya-kanyang trace ID. And then, meron ditong trace me. So, pag sinap ko yan, andito yung picture ko. And also, kung kailan din nag-register sa trace. And kung anong oras din. And itong QR code ko is nagabago nga daw every time. So, recursive QR code. I think magagamit to, let's say, may mga establishment na kailangan i-scan yung QR code mo. Ito yung pwede mong ipakita para mapascan mo sa kanila. And kung may mga establishment naman na ang requirement is ikaw yung mag-scan ng QR code na meron doon sa establishment like sa MRTs which is papakita ko na very shortly, doon naman natin gagamitin itong uh, trace QR code which is ito. And then from here, pwede na natin i-scan yung QR code na makikita natin. So sa akin, wala pa akong magagamit pero check natin later on. So balik tayo. And then, uh, dito sa trace history, mapapakita kung uh, ano yung mga in na natin most likely. And dito sa notification, mas maganda na walang laman to. Kasi, uh, pwedeng yung notification is may nakahalubilo ka ngang positive COVID-19 patient. And pag ganun, alam mo na dapat yung gawin, uh, mag-self-isolate ka na and i-observe mo rin yung sarili mo kung may na-experience ka bang uh, symptoms about COVID-19. And i-check mo kung kailangan bang pumunta sa ospital or pwede bang isolation. And for profile, ito yung mga details na in-enter natin kanina. So, pwede tayong mag-add ng individual. Let's say, may parents ka or yung uh, may ibang tao na gusto magpa-create uh, ng account sa iyo dito sa mobile phone mo. Pwede yon. You can add maximum of 5 individuals dito sa account mo. And also, kung gusto mong i-delete yung data mo dito sa Trace, pwede rin naman kasi meron silang delete account na option. And as I've mentioned earlier, uh, sinabi ko na ipapakita natin kung paano ba gamitin yung Trace na mobile app, kung paano rin mag-scan, lalo ko nasa MRT. So, ito na yun. And this video is from Trace Contact Tracing App na channel. Ipapost ko na lang tong link sa channel na to and also yung link ng video na to sa description sa baba para pwede nyo ring ma-view on your own. So, let's proceed and play na natin to. You need to trace three times when traveling via MRT3. Upon entrance to the station, inside the train coach, and upon exit from the station. First, open the Trace app and log in. Second, tap Trace QR code and scan the entrance QR code before entering the station. Third, tap Trace train coach and scan the QR code in the train coach you are in. And to exit, tap Trace QR code at exit gate and scan the exit QR code before leaving the station. Remember, trace three times 
at the train. This is Trace and MRT3. Protect and also, ito pa isang video sa Trace. And before we play this, uh, by the way, saan mo ba ito pwedeng magamit itong uh, contact tracing na app? And as mentioned dito, uh, nag-start na nga siyang matest sa iba't ibang mga airports sa Naiya, sa Clark, sa Mactan Cebu, and sa Davao. And uh, other airports will follow soon. So maganda na mag-download ng Trace na mobile app, lalo kung mag-travel ka. And also, uh, as mentioned here, eventually, may-utilize or magagamit na nga to across all modes of trans uh, transportation, which is kasama na nga yung mga trend natin, to strengthen daw yung government's effort uh, dito nga sa contact tracing uh, related sa COVID-19. And kung sakali man na yung mga pasahero is walang mobile phone, uh, walang gadget, pwede silang pumunta sa Malasakit Help Desk sa mga airport to for, reg for registration and assistance na rin sa unique QR code na meron sila. Or also, katulad ng sabi ko kanina, pwede yung family member ang mag-register on their behalf gamit nga yung app. And dito sa pinakababa, with nationwide coverage, yung Trace Thou has complete modules to trace individuals, establishments, logistics, and trans uh, transpo, katulad ng trains, vessels, airplanes, jeepneys, kasama na rin yan, taxis, PUVs, and even yung mga tricycles. So play na natin tong next video for more info about Trace. Hello there! I'm here to guide you and give you more information about Trace. Trace is available in Google Play and the Apple App Store. Just search Trace Contact Tracing and download. If you haven't registered yet, you can watch our previous videos on how to register as an individual. If you have already registered but don't know what to do, here's an account tour just for you. First, log in with your username and password to bring you to your homepage. Don't worry, a pop-up helper will appear. On the top of your homepage is your Trace ID. The first button that says Trace Me will direct you to your own QR code. The second button is to trace other QR codes of establishments and more. You can always view this guide by tapping on the question mark icon. So let's start tracing! In order to be traced by others, tap on Trace Me. And this is your own unique QR code. You can trace establishments, transportation, barangays, hospitals, other individuals, and more with just a single touch. See? You have successfully scanned a QR code. You can always retrace your steps. Just tap on the Trace History icon and it will show you your history. Now how will you know if you have had contact with someone with COVID-19? You will get a notification. Tap the notification icon. None? Well, it's better than to have one. Want to make changes in your profile? Tap on Profile, where you can make your changes. Also, you can add other individuals here who don't have mobile phones. Just tap the plus symbol at the bottom right of the page and enter them as your neighbor or family member. Don't forget to save your changes. No internet connection? No worries. Trace works both online and offline. And we're done! Download Trades now on Google Play and the Apple App Store. Trades to keep our nation protected. As for Trace, uh, you may start downloading and mag-register na rin kayo sa Trace, lalo i-require kayo na mag-scan ng QR code sa mga establishment like sa mga trains bago kayo makapag uh, or bago kayo makasakay nga or makapasok sa mga train station. And sana nakatulong tong video na to. Kung oo, pakiclick ang like button para mas ma-inspire pa kami gumawa ng mga online tutorial videos katulad nito. And kung may questions man kayo or uh, suggestions or topics na tingin nyo pwede namin i-share online, please let us know by providing a comment below. And this is Media Tech Library. See you sa next video. Bye-bye!